excuse me, excuse me, senor, may I speak to you, please? I asked for a Mai Tai, and they brought me a pina colada, and I said, no salt, no salt for the margarita, but it had salt on it. No siento mucho, grains of salt on Los Siento, Pinche but that's again, I won't be leaving a tip, because I can... What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. What's the number one sign that you are innocent of a heinous crime that you've been accused of? Well, when you flee the country. This is exactly what Bill Clinton has now done after bombshell after bombshell from the Epstein logs and the Epstein flight logs and the Epstein victim statements and the Epstein lawsuits have been dropped against him. Bill Clinton has fled. Bill Clinton is hiding out in Mexico where no journalist can talk to him on a private resort inside of like a locked community. This is insane. Under fire, Bill Clinton escaped. Fuhrer, latest revelation in the newly released court documents related to the pedophile Jeffrey Epstein and getaway trip to a luxury resort in Mexico. Bill and Hillary have been spotted in vacation in Mexico with Gavin Newsom, the governor of California. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Mr. Uh, I'm going to probably run for president when Joe Biden drops out and then pardon Bill Clinton for any crimes that he committed on Epstein Island. The group was staying together at the Four Seasons Resort in Taramandio, set at a 3,000-acre private nature preserve in the western state of Jalisco. The Clintons were in the Dominican Republic, uh, the former presidents Mexico and Chile, before Christmas and also visited San Miguel. So these are all private communities. I know people who live in San Miguel. Uh, the, the Clintons have been out of the country for a very long time. Um, and here they are. This is Bill Clinton, uh, sitting on the back of a call of a golf cart, uh, roaming around. They're getting driven around private golf, car, private golf cart ride through the resort. This is how hard it is to get a hold of Bill Clinton. There he is, um, uh, oogling something in the sand along with a bunch of other creepy old dudes. And the resort boasts six miles of private beach. The rooms cost $800 per night. Bill Clinton did make it out and about. And here he is meeting some of the hoi polloi. Um, some of the people that Bill Clinton did not meet because he killed them was uh, uh, Jeffrey Epstein and Jelaine Maxwell because then now she's in federal lockup. Here is uh, Bill Clinton pictured. Uh, oh, with Hillary Clinton. There you go. Um, Hillary Clinton. Uh with the exact same body type and shape of a Christmas tree, which is really nice um, to see on Christmas um, with a giant plastic Santa Claus. Okay. So uh, great job, everyone. Um, Bill Clinton, probably not wishing to uh, allow reporters access to him to ask questions like this. Mr. Clinton, any comments on the alleged uh, allegation of your uh, connection with Jeffrey Epstein? Oh, yeah. I think the image speaks for itself. Look at him look back. Look at Bill Clinton look back. Look at that dirty dog look back. Like, you you are dead, man. You are dead. If I ever get a hold of you at my luxury Mexican resort, after Epstein dock dump Bill Clinton palling around with Gavin Newsom, luxury, luxury resort. Okay. So there you go. You know, some of the, some of the photos of him. Boy, must be nice. You know who set up the uh, little money pot? That is the Clinton Foundation, Jeffrey Epstein. So the whole reason that they can afford to do stuff like this uh, is because of Jeffrey Epstein. So great job. Although you got to fly in your own jet this time, Bill. <laughs> Isn't that a shame? It could have been the Lolita Express. No, it's so annoying when you have to book your own flights. He flew 27 times on the Lolita Express and ditched his Secret Service to do that. Why would he do that? What a great question. Sure would be nice to know. It sure be nice to have uh, Hillary Clinton stateside so people could potentially ask her questions about it. Oh, wait, when a independent reporter actually did ask Hillary Clinton questions about this, um, he was treated worse than a Al-Qaeda terrorist in Guantanamo Bay. You want somebody who's going to get up every day. Hey, Hillary, why is your husband visiting Epstein Island 26 times? <laughs> and what happens to Alex Rosen? Oh, yeah. He gets dragged not like in the not like in the online way he gets like physically dragged look at this you ever seen a black lives matter protester tweet like this like there's an antifa protester at every single rally for donald trump for every republican running for president you never see them tweet like they rip their clothes off them look at this look at this you asked the wrong question alex you are a little over the target and this is what they don't want you asking questions about 
These are some of the allegations dropped just 24 hours ago. Court documents allege sex tapes taken of Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, and Sir Richard Branson. Also alleged that Hillary Clinton helped in the cover-up of this, that the FBI paid off the victims. Epstein survivor Virginia Gouffre alleged Bill Clinton is a witness to the sexual abuse of minors. Yes, he would be a witness because he knew that was my purpose when I was there and he visited Epstein's island. Bill Clinton's own associates have said that Bill Clinton has visited Epstein Island. Epstein himself said that Bill Clinton liked them young. It's the exact words of Bill Clinton. And Bill Clinton's own presidential library has had to delete photos of him online in panic because they were being too cute by half. Who do you think, who do you think Bill Clinton was emailing here in the first presidential email? Well, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder. Real, this is a real tough one. Real tough one. I wonder who Bill Clinton was emailing. Yeah. Who could, who could it possibly be? Who could it be? Ladies and gentlemen, they deleted this real quick, real quick, because they don't want you to know the answer. Hanging with Gavin in Mexico after the Epstein docs. Here they are. TMZ, of course, with the uh, different photos. Let's see what TMZ has got for us. Gavin Newsom, Bill Clinton. Oh, there they are at, uh, there they are at dinner. Okay. All right. There they are at dinner. Oh, is this Hildebeest? Oh boy. Look at that. Looking rough. Ooh, baby. There they are. Eyewitnesses tell us Gavin uh, joined Bill and Hillary for dinner on Thursday, sitting around the table for three hours. Everyone was in great spirits. Uh, no word of the spirits of the beverage variety, though. Bill and Hillary grabbed breakfast together the next day as part of their south of the border getaway. Uh, as we reported, Bill was named quite a bit in loads of docs from the Epstein depositions. Clinton likes them young. So... Maybe that's what they were talking about. I'm not sure. Hillary Clinton got the old noose out for Bill. We don't know. We don't know. But she can't be happy. She can't be happy. And that's why they're running away. They're literally uh, leaving, the, leaving the country. Never a great look. Never a great look when you have to ask you to leave the country. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, not a great look when you don't help in the capture and prosecution of the world's greatest pederast, who was your, named as your best friend. Uh, the only person who did is Donald Trump. Jesse Waters has an incredible breakdown of the difference between Donald Trump and Bill Clinton as it pertains to the relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Go. Fox News alert. The second tranche of Epstein documents just dropped, and the primetime team is digging through them like furious truffle pigs. We do see an email between people indicating Bill Clinton personally walked into the offices of Vanity Fair and threatened journalists to spike sex trafficking articles about his, quote, good friend Jeffrey Epstein. Why would he go to bat for Epstein? Not sure. Another email indicates that a 17-year-old Virginia Gaffrey was trafficked to Prince Andrew and other men, including, quote, two of the world's most respected politicians. The names of the respected politicians are redacted. So go back around 20 years ago and ask yourself, who were two of the world's most popular politicians? Yesterday, we discovered that an Epstein victim told her that Bill Clinton likes his girls young and that he did indeed fly on Epstein's plane and even his chopper. We learned just how close Stephen Hawking and Epstein really were. We discovered that David Copperfield spent some time in Jeffrey Epstein's Palm Beach estate. Surprisingly, he was not able to make his name in these documents disappear, though. And we learned that world leaders may currently be under the threat of blackmail. You'd think an international sex trafficking and espionage ring involving the highest levels of politics, finance, celebrity, and royalty would stir slight interest in professional journalists. Not really. This is how they're covering the story. Former President Bill Clinton and Donald Trump mentioned in deposition transcripts. Both have denied any wrongdoing. In one, a woman who once worked for Epstein recalled he spoke to her about Clinton, saying Epstein told her one time, quote, that Clinton likes them young, referring to girls. The same woman says Epstein once suggested calling Trump for an outing in Atlantic City. The media, a lot of them controlled by big intel, is both sides in the scandal. Bill Clinton, who was photographed getting a massage by an Epstein victim, who's lied repeatedly about flying on Epstein's jet, is now involved in a cover-up threatening journalists and reportedly had a romantic relationship with Epstein's madam, Ghislaine Maxwell. 
that's on par with Epstein going to Trump's casino 30 years ago. And was that Valerie Jarrett's daughter, Laura, fronting that piece? I think that was. Let's get the facts straight here. Here's the lawyer who represents dozens of Epstein's victims. The only thing that I can say about President Trump is that he is the only person who, in 2009, when I served a lot of subpoenas on a lot of people, or at least gave notice to some pretty uh, connected people that I, was going, that I wanted to talk to them, he is the only person who picked up the phone and said, let's just talk, I'll give you as much time as you want, I'll tell you what you need to know, and was very helpful in the information that he gave. This is the same lawyer that says Bill Clinton spent a lot of time in Epstein's orbit and refused to help the victims. He was in Jeffrey Epstein's presence, and even more so in Ghislaine Maxwell's presence, many, many times on numerous occasions, including on occasions when others who were victimized by Jeffrey Epstein were there. He has a lot of information. If uh, it, it, we've invited him to speak to us, the fact that he's been less than helpful is troubling to me, who has only been trying to fight for the victims and survivors and get real answers. Waters World spoke to a source close to Epstein's pilot and said Bill rides on Epstein's jet were kind of kinky. And, Bill Clinton uh, it, was on those flights. Numerous times. And, and these, why these girls were dressed, that he would describe them as candy stripers. And... Um, so serving, you're saying, you know, you're they saying had to serve. on the flights that Bill Clinton was on with Jeffrey Epstein, the stewardess or stewardesses, many of them were underage, were dressed as candy stripers. Correct. And there were beds times, in the back of the plane? Beds, bedroom, yes. Epstein was trafficking underage girls to politicians, business executives, foreign leaders, even well-known prime ministers. He was obviously an intelligence asset, collaborating with our government. Even Ghislaine Maxwell's dad was reportedly an intel asset, allegedly worked for MI6, the Mossad, even the CIA. It was a match made in heaven, or for some of the victims, hell. Biden's CIA director had three meetings with Jeffrey Epstein. So it's no surprise that the FBI is keeping a lid on the surveillance videos from the Epstein properties. And Dick Durbin doesn't want a subpoena any of these flight manifests.